Hello! Today I would like to introduce to you our brand new Divesoft app and I would like to show you what our app is about and what it currently can do and what our plans with it are. So let's have a look into it. So we have developed the app so in the future you can look after your Divesoft devices through the app and to download for example your dive logs or to have your checklists in the app and to be able to play with your devices and get all the information into your phone and have it handy at all times. Right now, the application has uh, a checklist for your Liberty assembly, which is what we're going to have a look at in a minute. But in the future, you're gonna be able to um, check all your other devices and we're gonna be adding more and more functions as the time goes on. So um, right now, let's go and have a look at the checklist for the Liberty for the assembly of the unit. So the first thing that you gotta start with is to download your app. So the app is compatible with Apple or Android type phones. So you download the app first. And then once you download the app, you get into the first screen where you have your login details. So you start up with signing up. So once you sign up, then you go to login. Once you log in for the first time, then the app keeps you logged in. The application also works offline, so all of us or most of us travel often for diving. Um, what can happen to you that you're often out of reach of uh, mobile networks. So we have designed the app so the app works offline as well. So you can still work on your checklist or access your device even if you're out of reach of any mobile networks. So I'm going to log in now. So I've already signed myself up. So what we started with now is that we prepped the app up for Liberty Rebreather users to be able to set their units up easier. So the app is made very intuitively so it makes it nice and easy to go along through the app and set, to help you to set your unit up. So on the bottom here you can see our checklist. So you will be actually eventually able to see the steps of the checklist that as you go through it. Uh, in the middle we have our sensors. So I have set my sensors up. So when you're putting the details about your sensor in, you can see the you set up when the your sensor was, what its date of, of manufacturing was, the date when you placed it into the unit and the date uh, the unit will automatically set the date of expiration, which is 12 months. So we recommend for you to change your oxygen sensors every 12 months. So once you set that up, as you can see in position three and four, I have expired sensors. So I have specifically for the sake of showing you um, set an, an older date. So if you had a sensor that had it, which, which life has expired or it's older than 12 months, um, then the app um, tells you that your sensor is expired for the use of, for it to be used in the rebreather. So it's time for you to change the sensor. Then you have your settings where you have your list of devices. So when you're adding a new device, which I'm gonna do now. So let's say you've just downloaded the app. So you're putting the details of your device in. So you put your device name and the serial number. So the serial number of your unit can be found on top between your loop hose orifices. So you put those two details down and add your device. So I'm gonna enter my own device. Okay. And on the main screen, you can see the configurations. So based on what configuration you're gonna be building up, you are going to select the particular picture. So I'm gonna go in back mounted counter lung unit. Here we can see the date of our assembly. So we're starting to assemble our unit now and we're starting our check. And now as you're used to, the same way as if you were following your um, checklist on the paper, you just go and tick parts step by step. You can skip steps and come back to them. But obviously, if you follow the steps, the steps are done sequentially. So it makes it as easier and, and as efficient for you to build the unit up as possible. So 
water trap and as you can see on the screen we have pictures and a little description to to each um, step of the checklist so you are making your way through the checklist as you go uh, we are making our way through the checklist until we get to the section with um, oxygen cell calibration which is the next one I would like to show you so currently in this configuration we have 33 steps right now we're at step nine and now when we're getting to oxygen sensor calibration which is step 11 we're going to start sensor calibration so if you watched our ccr liberty in detail episodes in episode about pre-dive check we showed you how the oxygen cell calibration is done on the paper with the application we decided to make your life even easier so basically the process with the application works as following. Okay, so I'm ready to calibrate now. I've got my oxygen cylinder here. If I was building my unit up, more than likely I'd be using the oxygen cylinder that's on my unit, which is already analyzed. I'm 100% certain it's oxygen. And I would be calibrating the head on my unit, but as you know, we can calibrate the oxygen cells um, just on the head itself. So what we do first is we're gonna write down the details of our oxygen, individual oxygen sensors into our columns of the oxygen calibration. As you can see, the app is notifying me that sensor three and four is expired. So I should go and exchange my oxygen sensors. But just for the sake of demonstration, I'm gonna show you how we go with the calibration. So um, I'm gonna write the values down. So the next step down, we're at step two of our three-step calibration. So we actually have a little instruction here on what our next steps should be. So I'm going to take my calibration jig and connect it to the Liberty head. And I'm gonna go into the calibration menu of my unit. I'm gonna open my oxygen and proceed to the next step. As soon as our values are stabilized, we're gonna write them down into individual columns for each sensor. As you can see below here, it's showing us the expected value of what uh, we should be getting on each sensor to get within the range Okay, so our values have stabilized so I'm gonna write those down As you're writing them down and putting the individual numbers down you can actually see if you are within the range by uh, seeing a green tick so as I'm going down, I can see that so far I'm doing well and my sensors are showing the right values. Okay, then we move on to the next step. Our calibration is complete and here we have to accept on our unit. So I'm gonna press accept on the unit to complete the calibration on the unit itself. And in my checklist, I'm gonna press confirm calibration and we move on to the next step. Then you are just proceeding through the checklist step by step to go further. Now, if I'm going to, for example, skip this step, it moves me automatically to the next step. If I skip that step as well, I just keep going ahead. When I make my way all the way to the end of the checklist, I'm gonna see a summary. Now we're at the end of our checklist, so we can see which points we have ticked. And I can see that the steps that I have skipped are marked with a red cross. So those have not been completed. So I can now go and go back to those just by tapping on them, I'm gonna go back to the step to make sure I have completed this step. Make sure you always complete your steps to complete the checklist and to go through everything that's necessary to build your unit safely. And that's it. 
I'm gonna complete my checklist. The app notifies me if I'm trying to complete the checklist and some steps have not been done. So it lets me know which steps have not been done and uh, advises me to go back and complete those. So I'm gonna complete those now. And now I'm back in my summary. I can see all the steps have been done. I tap on complete checklist. With our checklist fully completed here, we can now go and proceed to our unit, to our pre-dive mode and carry on with the pre-dive preparation of our unit. So these are the current functions of the application. As you can see, we have a watchdog for our oxygen sensors. We have the full on checklist that you can follow through and it's nice and intuitive. And also the oxygen cell calibration is much easier than writing it on a piece of paper. Uh, the application, as I said, currently, these are the functions that are supported. Uh, we're going to be adding more functions as the time goes on. Uh, eventually, as I mentioned earlier, the application will be connected to your dives of devices and will be offering a lot more functions. So uh, I hope you have found this video helpful. If you are a Liberty user or you're planning to become one, um, we are hoping that this is going to make your life easier and much better and have access to your checklists and to your device at all times, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.